going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the best ways to make and preserve coins day one of madden 22 because you guys do probably know coins are the most important thing you can pretty much obtain and efficiently use in madden in general and mud specifically right or in any game quite honestly that has any kind of currency such as a virtual currency but it's going to be important that you properly use your coins i see a lot of people use their coins the wrong way and don't and fail to make coins in the early days of madden and the most important thing you could really do the first day or week or so of madden is just build up a coin count stack your stacks on stacks right stack as much as you can and then officially invest and start a nice foundation for the rest of the year because if you if you fail your foundation early you're probably gonna have to buy packs at some point if you want to keep up with the competitive teams right the best thing you could do is get off early with either some people get lucky packs some people get lucky quick sales. I'm going to go over what you should be doing in the early stages just to start stacking up your coin count. Now, before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, guys, if you want a chance to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you got to do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad. Today's shout out for the Poodle Squad goes to No Mac. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate you and each and every one of you specifically, but specifically right now, No Mac. Now, let's get into this video. So, oh, and subscribe as well. So to start off, guys, here you see the home screen, right? The missions tracker is going to be a super important aspect of finishing, obtaining, and doing objectives, right? Make sure you get all the easy objectives done early in the year to start. So one thing I really want to go over real quick, guys, is that you properly use your free players. A lot of people fail to use their free players and get into the game and spend all their coins on auction block players. And yes, that is a good idea for weekend league when you want to round out your team, but do not go and buy a team. Do not go buy a team. That's one thing I really recommend you don't do. A lot of people like to do that. The first day, go play every solo that you could feasibly do that makes sense at the time, right? Go grind seasons. Do anything that builds your coin count because you want to get coins as early as possible. Um, you can auction, of course. You can try to snipe, which is a little bit different this year with uh, max and minimum you know, capacity parameters. But you can try to do all those things. But... We're not just talking strictly EA access here, but in terms of your 10 hours, guys, use them efficiently. But when it comes to making coins, make sure you use your free players like your free Pat Mahomes. And here you go, the daily objectives. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you guys are doing these each and every day, at least for the first month of Madden, you know, at least so you can get yourself your nice beginning start. Because some people won't do these for the first month and forget about them until they're really into the game. And then they then they notice all the rewards you get from them. And then they're pissed, right? Because they what this game does is they line up power passes at certain points throughout the year to be gotten through daily objectives. It may cost 80, obje 80 objectives, whatever, to get a 91 overall power pass. This power pass, 80 days from the day you get it, would land, let's say, in October or November, right? But if you don't if you do not do enough of these the first month, you won't get this till December when there's already a plethora of 95 overalls in the game. So it doesn't really benefit you to have gone ahead and started now, so then it just ends up losing it. Also, the daily objectives give you a daily coin quick sell, which you can get up from, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 7,000, all the way up to 250k, which I have actually gotten before. Or even more, depending on your level and everything else, right? So my biggest advice I give you guys right now in terms of the daily objective, just make, guys, it's the simplest thing. Go play a solo. Go play two solos real quick. Simplest thing to do. And then open up a pack. Um, I actually did save them all last year for like uh, maybe a quarter of the year. And I actually ended up getting a few hundred K out of it. Maybe half the year. I've seen, I'm pretty sure CC made over like a million with it one time when he did his video. So I would highly recommend you guys go ahead and take them. Do not take them for granted, guys. And don't be the guy that says, ooh, 7,000. Like I use my quick sells for a, a quick pro pack. Don't be that guy. Um, your weekly objectives as well earn you a gridiron pack, guys. It's a free pack, which you can get golds, which you can sell for 500 to 1,000 to 2,000, which you can put in sets, which you can put in exchange sets for a lower elite. Make sure you're doing that weekly. Now, the other thing here is the ultimate season rewards. Now, the thing with, ult well, this is the daily objectives right here. Just to show you guys real quick what we're dealing with. You get 500 XP, 150 coins from doing that. Another 150, a 50, and then, of course, you are going to get the quick sell. The ultimate seasons, guys, the thing is, if you're doing a access, you're not going to be able to get this done because you're not going to have enough hours to do it. But for the first day of the official launch of Madden, make sure you're grinding this out as much as you can because look at that. Reach level three, earn 10K coins. That's a free 10,000. Reach level four, earn a 70 plus gold or better pack. I pulled D Hop out of there last year. Earn a season champion collectible. And then all the way up here, you see earn a gridiron pack, an 87 to 88 power pass, guys. And power passes are unique in the sense that you can use them to replace a player instead of having to buy them. So let's say you wanted Aaron Donald, 88 overall. Instead of buying him, you can just go ahead and power his card up to an 86 or 87 and then throw this power pass in, which will save you about 200K of buying Aaron Donald. So again, another great way to save coins there. And then reach level 49 to earn 10K coins. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, these are the chapter ones right here. Now, the thing with this over here is going to be 
these are one of the things that I wouldn't really touch in EA Access, but I would definitely start doing, like I said, the ultimate season is when the game actually drops. Another great way to get some easy coins and some easy XP to level up, which will in turn get you more coins. Next, guys, EA Play. If you guys don't have EA Play, I highly recommend you guys do purchase it for $5.99, $4.99, whatever it is. You don't have to actually keep it. You can just purchase it, you get your EA, get your Madden early, which gives you a big head start to make coins, as well as it'll give you access to the cover athlete fantasy packs, as well as the elite 80 plus overall fantasy pack and the 1500 coins. And you can always refund it right after. Gridiron is just an example of all the solos you want to be playing. The solos give you free players. Now, how does this make you coins? It's very simple. You're gonna need a, you're gonna need cornerbacks, right? If you get if you pre-order the game, you get the Dion. You can get JC Jackson. That's already two good cornerbacks. That saves you money. You don't have to buy a Jalen Ramsey for 150K. You have two pretty good cornerbacks to start the year, right? Every player you get for free is another spot to save money on your team. As well as, guys, one little quick investment type tip thing is if you're going to be making investments the first week, the problem with the first week of EA Access, it's a lot less auctioning, a lot less players actually on the block. So prices are going to be volatile. Now, I will make videos as we get closer to the date going over investments and stuff, but the problem is like, just be careful with your coins the first week because like top you may be there's times where you can get an 88 overall player for like 140 but it turns out they're going to go to 200k when the game drops other times you may want a base like of 85 overall basically that goes for 85 to 100k but you're really only going to go for like 65 to 80 when the game actually does drop so again just be careful with your coins the first week again if you're going to be using your coins to invest that's fine but i personally recommend staying away from the auction block in terms of buying cards do not do not be the guy that tries to build your god squad in the first week of the game you want to know what the meta is you want to know what the game's going to feel like right you're going to pretty quickly in the first week okay it's pass heavy right now it's run heavy it's man defense heavy it's zone heavy it's blitz heavy you want to know because you want to end up building an entire passing squad to find out it's a run heavy meta and again maybe don't follow the meta but if it's one of the competitive ways to win the players will actually drop in price accordingly if it's if it's a run heavy meta running backs will go up and wide receivers make them down a little bit so just be careful with your coins unless of course you have good investment opportunities always take those um one thing if you're trying to save coins take advantage of your team captains guys do not be the guy again that goes in day one and tries to put abilities on something their favorite on Mahomes, right? Their favorite player right now or anything. Don't go put abilities on your guys. You don't know which abilities work. Sometimes guys and abilities are broken the first week or so. Like the like this ability just literally doesn't work. Doesn't work. Like uh, that pump fake one from last year. It literally just didn't work. You, it doesn't work. They, they had they patched it at one point and they never fixed it in the two Maddens ago. So you take advantage of your captains. Abilities only cost five training on them. Put all your abilities on your captains. Test them all out on them first. That's a great way to save coins. Trust me. These abilities go for like 1,500 training, 1,300 training. That's 50 to 100K worth of coins in the beginning. Just, I'm telling you. Go on your captain and put get all the captains. Keep flip-flopping them. Maybe they'll probably be cheaper. And just keep testing on abilities. Make sure they work first if you put them on anyone. As well as make that your focal point of your offense or defense. Use them. Abuse them ability-wise and X-Factor-wise. It's a lot easier that way. And then, of course, your ultimate champion, guys. The only thing, again, like I said, during EA Access is that you won't be able to build up Cam Chancellor that much because you only have 10 hours. But definitely go ahead and focus on Cam once the game does drop because you will get rewards for getting up and getting him. As well as I'll save you coins on the strong, the strong safety spot. Uh, Pre-order power-up, guys. One thing I want to mention here for the pre-order rewards, your team fantasy packs you'll be getting. Make sure to use those properly. Don't say, oh, my favorite player is, you know, this 83 overall guy. So I'm going to open that pack open packs that give you the best chance at pulling bangers like a tire like the chiefs right every year the chiefs you get power up tyree kill basically mahomes um power up mahomes usually right but this year's gonna be different because mahomes already has a power up for free and we get an 88 mahomes but tyree kill is usually a banger pack open up packs that have a lot of base leads maybe to give you a better chance of pulling them but don't just go pull like the lions like full well knowing the highest line you can pull is like an 81 or 82 right be very careful and be strategic about the way you use this pack i will have a fantasy pack video out so if you guys want to see that, comment down below. I will make a video on that probably a day or two, before, maybe a day before the game actually drops so you guys can be ready for that the morning of to open up your fantasy packs. But yeah, um, as far as that goes, guys, this pack right here too. Do not just take your favorite player on this list. Take a player that you know you will you will be stuck with for a little bit. See, because some people come out and be like, oh, I love D-Hop. I take D-Hop. Then you get into the game. You realize this D-Hop only has like a 79 to 81 speed. Then you realize, oh, wait, I get, I'm going to get Tyree Kill. I get Lance Allworth. I get this guy. up. Oh, D-Hop doesn't play anymore. And then you go to your defense, like, oof, I have no defensive tackles, linebackers, or a free safety. I got to go buy one, right? Because that's what you're going to do, because you want to you play seasons or weekend league. Take a guy like, okay, so you know you're not going to take Jack Youngblood, right? So you're going to have no defensive ends. Maybe take Miles Garrett. But then again, do you want to do you want a subpar defensive end to start the year? Maybe not. So that's where I go a guy like a defensive tackle. You don't like him. You hate paying for them. Take one. He will rock. The, take a center. Maybe you know there's, you're not going to, you don't, you, maybe some people hate buying linemen. Maybe you don't think linemen will work. Just take a center, put him in there, get your overall, up, get your team up risk free and you won't upgrade him for a while. Take a middle linebacker because you could have two of them. But again, maybe he's too slow. So make sure you take a fast one. I personally would recommend you take a depth position. I'll, I would take a lineman, 
a defensive offensive or defensive line is probably my first bet and then maybe an extra linebacker best bet for that but guys that is my entire thoughts on how to make coins day one or exactly really, really the first week including the launch but like i said if you guys have any questions down below ask me i will make a video going over coin methods when the game does drop of course i can't give you a definitive coin method right now these are just my best coin tips so that you guys don't make mistakes that's the last thing you want to do is make mistakes i know i have had friends who go ahead and like they buy d hop for like 180k the first week because they love d hop during e access and then the game drops and he's really only worth 90k he was just up because there was only a few on the block i've had friends do pack openings day one of the game and then go ahead and sell all their cards right away and then weekly drops next week and all the cards go up in price because they were all 88 like the meta cards right which you're not gonna know what the meta are yet so just be careful make investments wisely comment down below subscribe turn that noti bell and enter the poodle squad shout out thank you for watching i'm out peace